Hi, I'm Tony Sycamore, Senior Market Analyst at IG Australia. With just two weeks left before year end, let's take a moment to look at how things stand on Wall Street for 2023. The NASDAQ is up 52% calendar year to date. The S&P 500 is up 22% calendar year to date. The Dow Jones, it has gained 12.5% calendar year to date and is trading at all-time record highs. These numbers would have been unimaginable just seven weeks ago, but that's precisely where things stand, courtesy of the Fed's dovish pivot. The numbers also likely help to explain why New York Fed President Williams said on Friday night that the FOMC isn't really talking about rate cuts. Williams comments most likely an attempt to tame the animal spirits that have been unshackled in recent weeks and to push back against that aggressive expectations of 150 basis points of rate cuts in 2020-24. Let's now take a look at the chart of the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ, starting with the S&P 500, to see where they are as we get set to finish the year. The corrective pullback, which we saw throughout the period between July and early November, has completed and has seen a rebound follow to new highs above this 4607 July high. What does that mean for the S&P 500 from here? Well, in the very initial instance, we would say that the market is short-term overbought. Uh, So that is something we need to be very aware of, and we certainly be wouldn't be racing to put on fresh longs at these particular levels. We would prefer to wait for a pullback, and we would use that pullback to set up for a final push higher, possibly in the early months of 2024, to retest this bull market all-time high, which came in in late December, early January uh, 2020-22. That comes in at 48.18. So Essentially, what we'd love to see is a pullback to work off these overbought readings before a push up above 4,800. For the NASDAQ, well, we've been talking about this one for a while. Beautiful corrective pullback uh, into the 200 day moving average, into trend channel support in late October, early November, which was followed by a, a spectacular rebound to new highs. Now, Very similar situation here as the S&P 500. I would not be buying the NASDAQ at these levels, uh, mainly because of this extreme overbought reading you can see here on the RSI. It is up at levels where you would probably expect to see a pullback develop. What I would prefer to do is to look for a pullback into uh, this support region here before a push up towards this bull market high, which came in at November 2021. Now, let me Hasten to add, I do not think the NASDAQ would come all this way without testing and breaking above this 16,764 high. Whether that happens before year end or it's a story for 2024 remains to be seen, but you would probably be looking if we got a pullback in the short term to work off these overbought readings. You'd be looking to position for this test of this bull market high, possibly up towards 17,000. Thank you very much for listening and have a good week ahead.